Hi folks, in this video we're going to be looking at painting dark, dingy black robes on this Skaven Claw Lord. We're going to be adding some colour variation with some browns and some greys, so without further ado, let's cue the music. To start out with, I'm applying a base coat of scale colour black over the robes. Now the black that you want to use doesn't really matter here, whatever black that you like is your favourite. The idea of using this is that if we want to touch up with the black later, then we're going back to our original base coat, as it has a different finish to the black primer I originally sprayed this model in. Once the black has fully dried, I'll be coming in with some petroleum grey once again from Scale Colour. This is a lovely dark grey colour that has some brown tones within it which is going to really help us lend to that dingy grimy feel of the black robe. And with this colour I'll be looking to highlight about 60-70% to 70 of the raised areas. It's very easy for black to be highlighted to a point where it no longer looks black but that's fine if that's the look that you're going for. What I'd recommend that when you're highlighting this robe is that you pull your brush downwards to the bottom of the robe. If you have the sun looking at this from a 45 degree angle, then it's going to pick out the very tops of the ribs where the sun's going to hit it and then have a bit of black in the middle and then be dingy down at the bottom. Our colour is going to be strongest at the bottom because that's where more light is going to be hitting it, especially with the big back banner and his armour casting things into shadow. There's no right or wrong amount of area to cover with this. Just have a look, have a play and see what you feel like. It's just to get some nice colour variation into the robes. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of graphene grey into the petroleum grey that I have on my palette. And with this, I'm starting to refine some of the shapes on the cloth. I'm looking to cover maybe about 50% of the previous area. As I said, we still want to try and make sure the black is definitely left in the shadows. But we're starting to lighten up the colour now, leading to a more grey feel into the cloak. As you can see here, I'm picking out all of the raised areas on the cloth folds and the upper surfaces on where the light is going to hit on his left knee and thigh. Next, I've made a mixture on my palette that is roughly 50-50 petroleum grey and graphene grey. And with this, I'm picking out probably the highest and most focal point, 25% of the folds and the raised areas in the cloth. With this, the miniature is going to go quite grey, but as I said, this would always be done to taste, and you can always bring this back with some more black later on. With this, you want to pick out the sharpest details and areas that the eye is going to be drawn to. With this warmer tone in with the grey, it's really going to help this sell the dingy, dirty, grimy look that the Skaven often have. For the last highlighting stage, I'll be coming in with pure graphene grey from Scale Colour. And with this, I'll be doing some cutting and almost slashing motions with the side of the brush to resemble some texture and some threads within the cloth. And I'll be doing this on the bits where the light would touch and on the very edges of the folds. The trick with this is to use your side of the brush rather than the point, and it'll really help you pick out all that raised detail very nicely. The doing the stabbing motions and the slashing motion is completely optional, but I think it adds a lot to sell texture within the cloth. Lastly, I'll be coming in with my original black colour and I'll be placing this into the deepest recesses and folds and this is just to reinforce the fact that this is a black robe or started out as a black robe. It's very easy when highlighting black to lose some of that blackness in the shadows. And to soften this out so that it doesn't look like just a black line that I've drawn with my paintbrush, I'm going to take a damp brush once I've placed this line and go over it and feather it out backwards and forwards just to soften that shadow area that I've just created. And with that, the dirty dingy cloth on this Skaven Claw Lord is now complete. If you like this tutorial, why not consider subscribing? 
It's free of charge, helps me out, and you get further videos just like this one in your YouTube feed. Till next time, folks.